Australia is the driest continent in the world. The southeast of the country has endured a drought for over five years now. According to Australian climate scientists, it's only going to get hotter and drier in the future. Nowadays, Australia's most important river system, the Murray-Darling, is just a trickle in some places. For the past few years, no water at all has been reaching the mouth of the river on the South Australian coast. Peter and Derek Walker are respected elders of the indigenous Naringeri. In the past, their community got fresh water directly from the river. These days, the water is saline and not fit for drinking. Peter Walker knows the age-old stories of his ancestors, but none of them ever predicted the Murray would dry up. They would never dream of the water being as bad as it is. Derek and Peter are worried about the disappearance of animals and plants, which Naranjeri folklore say are their responsibility. You know, our, our people fished in these waters for thousands of years, and now um, we don't fish in these waters anymore simply because um, you can't catch fish. Um, as you can see, the lake's right out, it's very shallow. Um, the, species, the species loss in this lake um, has been huge. The Murray-Darling River system is about to collapse, warns environmental scientist Dr. Richard Kingsford. Uh, we've seen a number of its major hotspots of biodiversity, if you like. The, the places that we have water birds and native fish species and turtles and, and many, many old trees. A lot of those wetland areas on many of the major river systems of the Murray-Darling Basin are dying very rapidly. Animal species such as the Murray River turtle are now endangered. And not just from the five year long drought. According to Dr. Kingsford, the Australians pumped too much water out of the river in the past. With the over allocation of the water resources, so as soon as a major dam ca captures water, the large amount of that water will go for irrigated agriculture in the Murray-Darling Basin. Even today, precious water is being wasted on inappropriate irrigation and farming methods. Farmers and large agricultural companies own water permits that allow them to use more water than the river actually provides. In the lower sections of the river system, there's barely any water left at all. South Australia's Premier says it's a direct consequence of climate change. Few nations in the world will be affected as much as Australia, given our current climate. So the implications for us are enormous, not just in terms of the River Murray, but also in terms of bushfires. The Australian government has agreed an aid package of almost $13 billion to save the Murray. Pipes supply communities near the estuary with drinking water from the headwaters of the river. To conserve water in the future, the government intends to buy back water permits and shut down the most wasteful agricultural businesses. But for many farmers in the Murray-Darling Basin, the help is too late. Leslie and Mick Fisher had to sell their 700 dairy cows as the river water became too saline and eventually dried up altogether. This was once the bed of a deep, thriving freshwater lake. Now it's dried out.